gardeners. So today's video is going to be something completely new that I haven't done before and it's not going to be about reptiles whatsoever. So I like to collect a lot of random things, whether it be framed butterflies, crystals, reptile t-shirts, reptile hats, little turtle figurines. Like I love stuff pretty much. So I'm a Taurus. So I mean, that's how it goes. I just love my stuff. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my crystals. If you are not interested in rocks whatsoever, do not watch this video. It is not going to be for you. If you like rocks and crystals, then prepare to see a lot of them today because I own way more than I even thought I did. So we're going to get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching. So I'm going to start off over here with this big crystal over here. So this right here is just clear quartz. I absolutely love this piece because it's my largest piece and it was $45 and I was just so happy I was able to get my hands on it. Um, I just love this crystal so much. It's my largest crystal that I own and it is beautiful. Right here, this is actually smoky quartz. And this was given to me from somebody over Instagram. If you're watching this video, please reach out and let me know because I completely forgot what your name was, but she was just the sweetest girl. I literally said that I just wanted some smoky quartz and then she messaged me and she got this for me. And it was just so thoughtful and sweet of her and I absolutely love this piece. It's just so gorgeous, it's so stunning. So I'm really happy that I have this one and thank you so much to that amazing girl who sent it to me. And then moving on over here, so this is actually an iguana and it is serpentine. So it's really funny because it's a reptile obviously, so it's serpentine crystal. Um, it was carved and it's just absolutely stunning. I would love to collect more pieces like this because it's so cool. This right here is just a little piece of fluorite. So fluorite is just so stunning. I've always loved fluorite. It's so pretty. I love the purples and the blues. And then this right here is rose quartz. Rose quartz is so beautiful. It's all about love and I absolutely love this crystal so much. It just feels amazing. It's really nice and smooth and I love this piece so much. And then moving on over, this is just another clear quartz. Can't get enough clear quartz. It's just, it was the very first crystal that I had ever gotten was a clear quartz. And I've just been addicted ever since because they're just so beautiful. Every single one is just stunning. And then this is actually a newer piece that I just got recently. And this is amethyst. I had never really been into amethyst. It's like one of the most popular crystals and I don't know why, but I finally felt connected to this one when I saw it at a store, so I just grabbed it, and it's just gorgeous. So I love this piece. And then moving on over right here, this is Citrine. So I'm not sure where I got this one. I've had this for a very long time, um, but I absolutely love this one. And then this piece right here is actually called Hematoid. This was given to me by my friend Stacy. Um, I didn't even know this type of crystal existed. It's also known as fire quartz, and I just have been craving summer so much, and this just gives me warm vibes, and I love this one, so it's really, really pretty in the light, too. There is a little rainbow flare on it, but I can't seem to find it right now. But, I mean, you could just stare at this thing forever. It's just gorgeous. And then this is Dragon's Blood Jasper. This is one of my all-time favorite crystals because I just love these colors together. It has like this purplish kind of pinkish color and the green. I just love this piece and this one in particular I've had for so long and it's one of my favorite crystals that I own. And this right here is the cutest thing ever. So I actually made this. I just had this little turtle statue and I put little bits and pieces of fluorite all on the shell. So it's just something, I would love to make more things like this because it's just adorable, but I need to find more turtles so that way I can make more things like this because it's so cute. And then this little piece right here is a labradorite. So it has a really pretty flash. This was given to me by my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, there it is. You could just play with labradorite all day. It's so much fun. And then this right here is a rose quartz turtle. This was given to me by my friend Holiday. And this is just the cutest little thing. I collect little turtle figurines because I love turtles so much. So if I can get 
a turtle that's a crystal as well. It's a win-win, like I love that thing so much. And then moving on over, this is actually something that I just got today. So this is Garden Quartz, also known as Lotolite. And it comes in many different colors. It kind of looks like a different world when you look inside of it. And this one's really special because it actually has purple and green. So it's just absolutely stunning. I love these crystals so much. And this one is just so, so pretty. And then this one right here is Ocean Jasper. And this I purchased as a necklace, but the necklace broke, but it's just such a unique looking crystal. And I love this one. I love the colors on it. And then this right here is just a little moonstone. I think I've just had this forever. It does have a little flash in the corner, but it's hard to pick up in this lighting. And then this is actually supposed to be a necklace. This was given to me by my friend Stacy, and this is my only piece of amber that I own. And it's just stunning, so I need to get a chain so that way I can wear this as a necklace. This was one of my very first crystals that I had ever gotten, and this is a fluorite. It was given to me by my friend Holiday, and it just has amazing colors. It's just so gorgeous. This right here is Celestite. Celestite is one of my all-time favorite crystals. I love the blue. It's just so relaxing, so calming. Such a beautiful crystal. This right here is just another rose quartz. You can't get enough rose quartz. Rose quartz is amazing. And this is another clear quartz. And this one has so many different crystals on it. I love this cluster. It's just so gorgeous. Over here is another amethyst. I've had this one forever. It's gorgeous. I keep saying the word gorgeous over and over and over again because everything is so gorgeous. This one, I'm not sure what this is exactly. Might be calcite, but I honestly don't really know. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And then this piece over here is amazing. This was given to me by my friend Michelle, and look at that flash. It is just amazing. So I can play with this thing like all day long. It's just so pretty. And then on the back, it also has a flash. And this one is actually purple on this side, if I can angle it correctly. And there you can see the purple a little bit here. It's just a stunning, stunning crystal. I love this one so much. So shout out to Michelle because this crystal is like the best thing ever. And then over here, I have two more little turtles. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, I don't have a label or anything. It's some type of crystal, but it's a turtle, so of course I love it. I also am not sure what this one is. It's just another little turtle. Super cute. And I put both of them on top of my turtle skeleton over here. So now we're gonna move on to all of these crystals over here. So to start off, we're going to start in the corner here. This is one of my favorite crystals. I know I keep saying I have a million favorites. This is called Spirit Quartz. It's also known as Cactus Quartz. And I am just like addicted to these crystals. They're just so pretty. And I have many more that we will take a look at. So then moving down right here, this is Lapis Lazuli. I love lapis lazuli. I wanna get more pieces of lapis lazuli because that deep blue is just so amazing. Can't get enough of it. And then moving over here. These are just moonstones. I love moonstone. I have a lot of rainbow moonstone, but just like the regular moonstones, they still have an amazing sheen to them. And they're just so calming and relaxing and gorgeous. Look at that. I love these crystals. Moving down over here, this is called Merlinite. So this is a really special crystal that I picked out because I loved its healing properties and the colors are also amazing on it. So Merlinite is definitely something to check out. And then I think I just have another moonstone tucked away in there as well. And then over here is a bloodstone. Bloodstone is just so pretty. I love the red and the blue combinations. So gorgeous. 
And then I have a tiny little piece of smoky quartz and a dog hair, which is awesome. And I can't get it off. So this is the smoky quartz point. So pretty. Moving down to this crystal over here. This is actually called Mookite. And I love this crystal. It looks like a sunset. I want to get more Mookite because all of them just look like this. It's kind of creamy looking. And they're just very, very smooth. And I love the coloration. So Mookite is, again, one of my many favorites. So then this crystal right here, I can't remember what it is. It might be calcite, possibly apophyllite. Um, let me know in the comments what you think because I love this crystal and I really can't remember what it was and I got it so long ago. Over here, we have just another amethyst. And this right here is Kumbaba Jasper. Love this crystal so much. Love the colors. Anything green, greens are like my favorite colors. And this right here is Satellite. So I've had this one forever. Again, I love the coloration. It's just a gorgeous crystal to look at, very relaxing. And then moving down, I have this turtle jasper that I have tucked away right there. And then this right here is howlite. Howlite is supposed to be very relaxing and help with sleeping. It is definitely a very relaxing stone. And this one, I just love the way it feels. And then right next to that is my malachite. Again, Malachite, one of my favorites, of course, but look at these colors. I love the designs. It just looks like it was painted. It's just so gorgeous. I love the colors of Malachite so much. And then this right here is just another clear quartz because you can't have enough clear quartz. There's a little bit of a rainbow sheen in there. So pretty. And then this right here is aquamarine, very relaxing. I'm not sure what this dragonfly palm stone is. I've had it for a very long time. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, but I'm not really sure what this one is. And this is just a tumbled fluorite. Fluorite is so pretty, look at that. Just that blue that's shining and then the purple. I love fluorite. And then moving on over here. So this is a necklace that my friend Michelle made. When we actually first started talking, I won a giveaway. And this was the giveaway necklace. And it's just stunning. The chain broke so I don't wear it anymore. But I need to get a new chain for it. It has this snake wrapped around with this crystal coming out of the top. And then the bottom is smoky quartz. It is just stunning. She needs to make more jewelry like this because look at this. Like that is amazing. She should definitely make some more because she is an artist. This right here, this is, I know I keep saying I have all these favorites, but this is one of my actual favorites. This is pre-night. It's green, kind of yellowish. You can see through it. I love pre-night so, so, so much. Like it's probably my top three, one of my top three favorite crystals. I could just stare at pre-night all day. I am not sure what this crystal is and I don't remember where I got it either. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know what you think this is. And then this beauty over here. So this is another spirit or cactus quartz. This one's kind of orange and pink and just so stunning. Again, I could just stare at these all day. So pretty. I just have another little rose quartz over here. And this right here is carnelian, nice and warm. I love the orange of carnelian, it's so pretty. And this is just another clear quartz. There's a little rainbow sheen in this one, very pretty. Here's a little labradorite. This one has a really yellow um, flash to it. And this used to be a necklace, but it broke. So now I just own it as a little crystal piece that I took away over here. And then this right here is another moonstone. I think this is a rainbow moonstone, but I can't seem to find the rainbow in this light, but it's still pretty nonetheless. So this is snow obsidian. I think that's what it's called, or snowflake obsidian. That's what it is, obviously, because it has these little white spots that look like snowflakes. And then it's a black stone, really, really pretty crystal. And I have this labradorite piece, and I love this flash. It is gorgeous. 
has a little bit of orange up there and pink and then it's just like bright blue and green really really pretty crystal again I could play with labradorite all day it's just so much fun and then this piece right here is chalcedony I love chalcedony um, it's really hard to see in this lighting I'm not sure if you guys can see it it has like little ripples through it and it's really creamy it just it's an amazing amazing crystal I love Chalcedony, so I was really happy that I could get a tumbled version. That's what that one crystal was. Okay, so this one, that's Chalcedony, but that's in raw form. And then this is the tumbled form. It's selenite, and it has an amazing sheen to it. You can use this to recharge other crystals, which is amazing. I would love to get like a really big long slab of selenite because that would be so cool. I completely forgot the name of this crystal. I think it's like called a sunburst or something, but I don't remember what the name was. So if any of you guys have any idea, leave a comment, let me know. I've had this piece for a few years now and I just cannot remember the name for the life of me, but it is so cool. It's unlike anything else that I own. So just a really cool crystal. And this is another spirit quartz or cactus quartz. Again, amazing, like there's nothing else you can even say about this. It's just so amazing. I love all of these. I just want a million of them because I love them so much. Here is another quartz point. Amazing. And this is another fluorite. You can see a little bit of green at the top. Stunning crystal. Teeny, teeny, tiny little teardrop moonstone. It's a rainbow moonstone, so I'm going to try and show the sheen in it. And there it is. It is beautiful. Do not know what this crystal is. It's pink. It's gorgeous. I got it from a store so long ago and I do not remember what it's called. I need to clean some of these because as you can see there's just like fuzzies on it and stuff. But if you guys know what this crystal is called let me know because I don't know. And this is a sunstone. So it's nice and orange. It's kind of pinkish. Kind of peachy looking actually. But it's a very pretty crystal. So this is quartz and it has some orange on it. Um, this I got in like a pile of a ton of other crystals at some flea market. I'm not sure if it's tangerine quartz or what, but I think it's tangerine quartz. It's very, very pretty though and I love this piece. And this right here is Rainforest Jasper. Very pretty. I love the designs on this one. Again, it's just so smooth. I love this kind. And then moving on up to over here, it's a necklace piece again. So the chain broke on this one as well. Um, so this is actually labradorite with an amazing flash at the top. And then the bottom is apophyllite. So it's just a really, really special crystal. I love this, it's beautiful. I need to get another chain for it so that way I can actually wear it because it is stunning. And this right here is tiger's eye. I love Tiger's Eye. It again has an amazing sheen to it and it's just a very earthy stone. This is a little turtle jade. And this right here is Seraphonite. So Seraphonite is one of my favorite all-time crystals because it's the one crystal that whenever I wear Seraphonite, I always feel extremely connected to nature and it's like amazing things happen. So this is just one of my favorite crystals of all time. And moving on to this section over here, I have this little cobra, and I'm not sure what type of a crystal this is, and I don't have a label for it, but look how adorable that is. Reptiles carved into crystal is like the best thing ever. I love it. And then this right here was another necklace. I have a lot of chains that break off, clearly. Um, there's a little bit of like amethyst pieces at the top, and then the bottom is citrine. So it looks like a little mushroom and it is adorable. And this right here is a fluorite tower. And you can see there's a rainbow in it. It is stunning, look at that rainbow. But oh my God, I could stare at this crystal all day. When I saw that rainbow at the store, I was like, I have to get this. So I brought it home because it's just amazing. And I have this crystal right here. This was given to me as a gift and I don't know what it is. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know because it's really pretty. It has a really amazing texture to it, unlike anything else. So I really like it, but I have no idea what it is. And here is a regular clear quartz tower. Very, very smooth, very gorgeous, love this. This right here is Chrysocolla. 
and I never really liked Crisacola, but my boyfriend always gets me Crisacola, and ever since I've seen pieces that have this type of greenish in it, I've just completely fallen in love because I love that color so much. And a lot of Crisacola, you don't see this, but if you find the right pieces, you can find these, and I love them so much, so now I'm kind of obsessed with Crisacola. Here's just another Amethyst Tumbled. Very, very pretty. Actually, this one might be fluorite. I'm not sure. Either fluorite or amethyst. I have this really pretty piece here. I have no idea what this is. I don't know where I got it from either, but it's really pretty. And this is a labradorite ball. So it has some flashes through it. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, oh, there you go. There's the flash. So awesome. I love this little thing play with this all day. Just looks like there's magic inside of it. This is Unikite or Euconite. I'm not sure how you say it, but I love this color combination of the green and then the peachy pink. Just a really, really pretty crystal. And here is another Spirit or Cactus Quartz. This is probably my favorite one that I own. It kind of looks like a little castle and it has so many different colors going on. There's just a lot of different um, sheens on it. Look at that. I could stare at this one all day long, but it is just so, so, so pretty. And this right here is just black tourmaline. Very cool. Another clear quartz. And here is a rainbow moonstone. This was given to me by Michelle as well. The very first time that I met her in person, she gave me these two crystals. There we go, and I can see the rainbow. Look at that. So Michelle is just killing it with giving me awesome crystals. I love these. This is kunzite. The kyanite is blue, so this is a kunzite piece. It's really pretty. Stands out a lot compared to other crystals. There's nothing quite like this. And then this little amazing piece has a turtle on it, and this is the only piece of opal that I own. So it does have a really pretty flash in the correct lighting. But it's just really cool. And then it was carved. I believe that this crystal was found literally in this like wood. And then they carved that out and made it look really special. I think the head is missing though, as you can see. But I still love it and it's adorable but it has amazing colors and I just, I love this little piece. It's so creative and so cool. I got it at the shop before it closed down, so I'm really happy I got my hands on it because I love it. And this right here is plant agate. I need plant agate because I'm just all about plants and nature. Anything that can connect me to nature is the reason why I love crystals, so I needed to get a plant agate in my collection. This is another spirit quartz or cactus quartz. This one's really, really big. Very pretty. And this is a tumbled selenite. Again, that sheen is just amazing. This is another clear quartz because I have a million of them and I love them. And then this right here is a blue lace agate. I love blue lace agate, it's so pretty. I love the little ripples in it, it looks like an ocean. And then this right here is blue celestite that's tumbled. I don't know why, but I love celestite when it's tumbled. It's just so pretty to me. And this last piece is kyanite. It's blue and it's gorgeous. Very cool crystal. And I can't make a crystal video and not talk about my third eye pine cones because I love these things. So this is my seraphonite third eye pine cone. This is a medium size. And this is the one that I wear all of the time. Every time I wear this crystal and this necklace, I just feel amazing. I feel extremely connected to nature and it's like something magical happens every time I wear this and I'm not just making this up. So this is like my lucky necklace. I love this piece so much. This was given to me by my boyfriend and I just love this one. It's probably my favorite. And this is Crisacola. So my boyfriend also gave me this one. I think this one is a large, it might be medium, I'm not sure, but this one is just so stunning. It looks like there's like a little river running through it and it has that really beautiful green that I love so much. So I'm just like obsessed with this one. I think the cone is really pretty too, so I love this necklace. This right here is my mini rainbow moonstone. So this was given to me by Third Eye Pine Cones. 
and I love this one so much. Look at that beautiful, beautiful flash that runs through it. It's just so stunning. And this one is just so tiny and goes with anything. It's just the cutest little pine cone of all time. And this necklace I wear almost every single day. So this is a bloodstone and it has this snake on it too. It's kind of hard to notice a lot of the time because it's so teeny tiny, but it's just a really special necklace and I love this necklace so much. And then lastly, I have this entire container that I have just full of loose tumbled and raw crystals. Just so many different things going on because I can't fit them all over here. So these ones I just have in here. And I'm not going to go through and name every single one of them because we will be here all day long. So that's the rest of my crystals. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one and it will most likely be reptile related.